Geek is a labour of love, and as such, I cannot get it out on a regular basis. If you would like to be informed when a video is released, please go to the website and go to the subscription options. Select RSS, email, Twitter or Facebook and you will be informed when a video is released. Hello Cinematech Geeks, it's James Gardner here again with a video about DCI Digital Cinema Security and how that works. Now, how does that work exactly? Well, a DCP right, is, a, is a film comes in a digital cinema package, comes in a hard drive, and, a, and uh, uh, I've done another video, so please refer back to it, but uh, to describe it. But it, it's basically a set of files, and and in that is the essences or the movie in a, an encrypted format. Now, to play back this in, encrypted file, you need to get a KDM or key delivery message, and this is generated from um, the distrib distributor, and it's sent to you in a number of different ways but email is a common one now what's in that file well that file is um it's basically it's like a password and um it uh, it's a secret password that you need it's only sort of like half the password and the other half of the password is only known by the person the distributor and what's called the secure media block which is um, housed in your DCI player and that's a very secure system it comes with um, basically military type of security like the sort of stuff they use to protect atom bombs from being tampered with by the enemy so as you can imagine it's extremely secure um, and uh, it is encrypted in what 128 um, bit AES encryption now again how hard is it to crack that well it's really hard. For example, I just heard on the news recently that there was this banker who was arrested because he was suspected of stealing some money from his bank and he had his hard drive encrypted in AES encryption. And it took him a year, they couldn't encrypt it, and so they had to drop the charges. It's hard to crack, even if a government wants to crack it. Now, so, yeah, so pirates cracking that aren't really, it's not really conceivable. It's, I'm sorry, it's just not really conceivable. And just to top on that, a, a, a DCP is made up of a number of different files and each file, like each reel, is made up of a different key. So even it took took a couple of years to crack one of them on a couple of supercomputers, you got a few more. It's just inconceivable. So really, um, this stuff is secure. And, and as a, if you're an owner, etc., and you've had, you know, if you want to, you know, inform your distributors that it, there is no problem at all at sending you a DCP early or sending you a key early because these keys will not become active until the dates specified in those keys are within range. So it's very secure, uh, no reason to send stuff at the last minute which, is hap which has happened in the past with film due to the concerns of security. So um, I hope the distributors cotton on to this and that they can um, not have to rush things at the last minute and everyone can get all the content and all the keys and check everything because all that stuff can be checked prior to the keys becoming active because they have checksums etc which guarantees you know 99 percent of the time that guarantees everything will work so um let's have a look at akkadium quickly i'll just show you the some of the metadata and the and the stuff in there to give you an idea of how this all works here we have a KDM. Basically, it's an XML file, as you can see here. Now, a KDM, uh, when it comes from a distributor, usually is emailed to you from most locations, and that'll come in the form of a zip file. And in that zip file, you'll have, for every screen, for every film, an XML or key file. So if you've got Avatar and you've got four DCI screens, you'd have a zip file with four KDMs in it or four XML files. And those, each file will go with a particular screen. And in this file, as you can see here, um, it's a lot of jumble, you know, gobbledygook here. But the important thing is here is that it, it specifies um, the actual, here in this part here actually specifies, if, if you know what you're reading, the actual player, the, the, the serial number, etc., the code for the player is hidden here. here. And you've also got, um, you valid before and valid after, not valid, which basically describes when you can play the content. And uh, here is is the name 
of the the, the, the of the feature or the, the DCP name of the feature. And I recommend you have a look at um, uh, the uh, there's a website to go to 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 def so you can actually figure out what all these um, acronyms etc in a name mean. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen so you can look it up later. So as you can see here, it's it's very it's quite complicated, but you can if you need to work work out if things are going wrong uh, uh, at a low level. And lower in the file, then you have basically all the the hashes and the passwords that are used to decrypt all the different um, reels or or files that are used in in that feature. As you can see, there's quite a few there, and as you can see, these these are these certificates or sort of the passwords used are extremely complicated uh, and um, makes it very very secure. So that's really what a KDM is here. So I just like to to to, um, to uh, emphasise that uh, this being as secure as it is, there is no reason to to delay if you're if you're a distributor sending KDMs out. Send them out as soon as it's. Um, uh, okay to send them out, sending them out ahead of time. There is there is nothing wrong with that because they are that secure. You don't really need to worry uh, as as in the past when films, for example, weren't really dispatched to the cinemas until the last minute due to security concerns. Well, I wouldn't be concerned at all with security with this. It's very secure and it's far better to get the content and the keys out and make sure everything is checked and ready to go um, as far in advance as you can. It makes it easier for the cinema and it makes it easier for the distributor. So uh, I'd like to see that become the norm in the future. Um, anyway, so that's a KDM. Um, uh, one last thing before we go. Uh, we need to talk about uh, another form of content protection. And that's called watermarking. Every film, uh, when it goes to screen, is is um, watermarked uh, with the code of the actual cinema and the screen number and the date it was put onto the screen. This is so, of course, if if some some content does get pirated and get out there, they can actually analyse it, know where it was pirated, on what screen it was pirated, on at what time it was pirated and of course potentially look back at videos etc to track back to who actually pirated the content. So again, um, bad idea filming it off screen. Uh, don't do it, you'll get caught and you know the penalties are just just like forget man, penalties are just that bad. So um, that's DCI Security, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, catch you around on the next one. Bye for now, this is James Gardner for Cinetech Geek.